Hello, we are here at Embedded World 2020 and um, we have at Technation we have a lot of new products. Um, I will introduce you our NFC solutions. We have over here a uh, setup demo where we show an NFC host uh, solution and how you can use NFC to commission um, uh, IoT devices and uh, sensors. As we all know, when you uh, manufacture devices, you burn a standard image on the product and on first boot you have to um, commission the product on your network and you have to secure this. You can do that before you do power on. So let me show that here. So this is a unit that I have um, having an NFC tag which can be operating without applying any power. So if you have an IoT device you need to uh, give it an ID, you need to have a uh, wireless network you, uh, and a password and some other uh, items. So let's do that here wirelessly. So we put this here. We have a funny demo here. So you, you can choose an, uh, an animal like, okay, a cow. And you ch choose a color, blue. Okay, we configure our, our product, so let's turn it on and we will see in a second. It will be blue and you will hear, there is the cow. <laughs> so we do this one more time. So let's do that with a dog, a green dog. Okay, we are configured. You will see the green LEDs in a second. And there is our dog. Okay. If you have more questions about how to commission securely your IoT devices, uh, come step by our booth or send an email to our sales team and they are more than happy to explain to you how you can use this technology. Thank you. We're in Embedded World 2020, and I wanted to show you a, a demo that we have. Um, here we're showing a simple demo of the difference between an electronic rolling shutter camera and a global shutter camera. Here we have a global shutter camera on the right and a rolling shutter camera on the left. If I, uh, well, one of the things that I wanted to show you, the rolling shutter camera exposes the rows of each of each frame in succession and reads those rows out and a global shutter camera exposes all of the frame at the same time. So it's very good for machine vision applications such as barcode reading. So to demonstrate this, what I wanted to show you here is I'll stop the wheel and I'll take a picture. And you can see that both of them look pretty good. Right? But however, if I let the wheel start again, I'll let it fire up a little bit, a little bit faster. And I'll take another picture. You can see that the rolling shutter camera shows a lot of distortion and the global shutter camera doesn't show any distortion. So it's great for barcode applications, uh, machine vision applications, including profiling of objects and other things like that. Um, so I uh, hope this is educational for you. And uh, if you have any other questions, uh, please contact us uh, at our sales uh, inbox, sales at uh, visit our website, or come and visit us in our booth at Embedded World.